What's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, here with a post-game recap straight from the source himself, man. All right, let's get started with the New Orleans Saints. Derek Carr had 300 yards passed in the interception, one sack, all right? So a good game from those guys. I had 148 yards, uh, 69 from Mar uh, Marvin Kamara. The guy did a pretty good job of just getting their offense going, but the Atlanta Falcons did not let them score, all right? They had zero touchdowns in the red zone all right they had zero touchdowns in the entire game so this is what team football is all about the Falcons did a wonderful job of just getting off the field on third down that continues as a trend that's been continuing all year um Chris Olave had 100 yards receiving nine targets um seven catches 114 um you know Taysom Hill he, he, he looked pretty good he had 26 yards rushing but for the most part didn't get off to the start that we're accustomed to seeing him um you look at the atlanta falcons uh when it comes down to how they got down this is a pretty good day for the falcons you know offensively could have used a little bit more passing yards uh two interceptions by des ritter um but that's kind of you know in uh you know that that that's that's interpretable all right if you want to say this is a bad i'm, I'm not going to argue if that's a bad outing to you i'm not going to argue all right falcons obviously got to do better with those turnovers they had one touchdown um 168 yards 13 to 21 the falcons had 228 yards rushing one touchdown um Drake London and Desmond Ritter, those guys chemistry continue to, you know, impress five kisses, 91 yards. Um, B. John Robinson had a touchdown also. Um, Caught the ball out of the backfield against their uh, linebacker. I believe it was Demario Davis. Three catches for 32 yards. Kyle Pitts, two catches, 22 yards. And he just continues to be getting better and better. Um, you know, just getting comfortable as a tight end. I know a lot of people is like, hey, man, use him as a wide receiver. But let's get him comfortable as a tight end first before we start experimenting with all that. Um, I think it's going to get there. Uh, Caden Ellis, two tackles for losses. Jesse Bates with a pick six and pass defense. The dude was just absolutely amazing today. Look, man, pick six pretty much blew the house open. So when you look at this Atlanta Falcons team, man, I love what I saw from the linebackers. DeMarco Helms came in. He played pretty well. Uh, Richie Grant, I mean, he actually played well himself. All right. You know, the, the you know, he had a, uh, um, he had a, a punch out on the game where it was a crucial moment for them to make a play and this is what we always say if players want to become great players they got to make the plays at the right times and guys like jesse bates it was a crucial time for the atlanta falcons in that pick six man and like i said man this this is what this atlanta falcon team uh, is all about but i, I just got to give it up to b john robinson 91 yards rushing 16 carries tyler algier looked absolutely amazing Amazing 10 k uh 10 carries uh 64 yards Cordero Patterson he got off to a hot start early in the game eight carries 43 yards Desmond Ritter actually did well himself had a big gun a big run of 16 yards um but he had a total of seven carries and 30 yards the Falcons had a total a guarantee a guarantee a grand total of four 41 carries 228 yard rushing this is what this atlanta falcons um team can do when they run the ball they stick to the bases they stick to what they're doing and they don't turn the ball over and this is what a, a total team win is all about all right so let me know what you guys think about this man i thought the falcons they're finally starting to use those weapons um the right way uh i know a lot of people would like to see kyle pitts with a little bit more uh a little bit more targets I thought today coming off the bye week, they were a little bit rusty as far as the passing game is concerned. Obviously, um, benching Desmond Ritter, in my opinion, did not help that um, in, in the passing game. But like I said, if the Falcons just focus on playing solid defense, running the ball, getting those key stops and getting those first downs when they need to. And as a, as a coach, Look, you just got to make the right calls in the right situations. There was a question, uh, a couple of questionable, questionable um, calls here um, on the four, on the fourth down with the option reads. Like I said, I understand the off balance. Um, 
the um the balance uh with Caleb McGeary coming in motion, don't know if that's something that, you know, those guys should have done, but they end up doing it. They didn't uh, get it. But like I said, man, this is what the Atlanta Falcons are going to continuously do. If they're going to, you know, um, they're going to make it to the playoffs and they're going to win this division, they got to beat the teams that they um, you know, that's in that division. Right now, they're three and O in the division. It's all about taking care of business. And if I continue to take care of business in the NFC South, the Falcons will be in the playoffs. So let me know what you gotta think about this. This has been your boy Mad Mike. And like I said, the Falcons are holding down that full spot in the playoffs. All right. Right now, the division win, they're holding it down. Let me know what you gotta think about that. This has been your boy Mad Mike with a post game recap. Um, this is reaction. And like I said, man. Win is a win. All right. I know it's ugly. I know the Falcons did. They finally played their brand of football, running the ball, doing their thing. You know, like I said, I, I love the way he did. Really got um, to move around a bit. He ran the ball. Uh, he used his leg. He used his athleticism. And B. John Robinson, a lot of other team, you know, these guys did a pretty good job. All right. And just coming back, getting um, back into the floor of things. And like I said, Jesse Bates is just an absolute stud right now. He's the um, player of the of the game. He's the player of the game for me. Let me know what you guys think about this. Pick six with Jesse Bates. I'm out of here, man. Peace. <laughs>